Soil erosion is when the top fertile soil is carried away by strong winds and heavy rainfall. The land then becomes rocky and the soil is less fertile, soil which is carried away by the heavy rainfall. For our experiment today, you're going to take a plant, add it to one container. Next, you're adding bare soil to one bottle. Fill the three bottles with the same amount of soil. So what you're going to do is add some dead leaves to one bottle. This is going to represent mulch. So we're representing three types of land here. We have bare soil, dead leaves, and we have the trees. So we have the first one representing the forest, the second one representing mulch on the soil, and the last one is bare soil. If your child is older, you could give them a notepad to write down their answers. Do you think water has the power to change the land? What do you think is going to happen when I pour water into these three containers? So this water here is going to represent the rain. Let's observe. What do you think this rain is going to do to the land? Can you detect anything? What did you notice? Pause the video and contemplate on your answer. Explain to your parents why you think that the water came on cloudy. So let's view this picture. Here you could see all the dirt in the soil was washed up into the cup. The water had the power to move the soil. It had nothing there to hold the soil together. Let's monitor this one. Pause the video. What do you think is going to happen? The water will catch. Will it be dirty or less dirty? Let's scrutinize the difference. Are you noticing a difference? So here we have a little bit of particles in the water. What I notice is the dead leaves help protect the soil from moving with the water. Now we have this third one and this has a plant in it. We have plants growing in this soil which represents the forest. Keep a close eye on what you're seeing. Can you detect a difference? Pause the video and compare. Did anyone notice when the rain was falling, the roots from the soil were sucking up most of the water? So observe the color of this one. Time to compare. So we have bare soil water, soil with the leaves, and the soil with the trees. As we stated before, deforestation is when you cut down all the trees and not replant it, which leads to soil erosion. You're now wondering, so why did this soil stay together? The roots from the trees are holding that soil in place. Trees in our forests and even the plants do an amazing job at keeping erosion from washing away too much soil. We need that soil. We also depend on that soil to grow plants and plants give us food. And animals depend on it for food and also their habitats. What can we do as our part to stop soil erosion?
Number one, replant trees. The roots from the trees and the plants are going to keep the soil together when the rain falls. Number two, use mulch in your garden. The mulch in the garden will have locking moisture in the soil and act as a barrier in the rain.